All right, so I'm going to do um, a few problems uh, with conversions that are a little bit more involved than uh, the uh, previous video that I did. So the first problem here, 25.18 milligrams, and we want to convert that to pounds. Okay, so the first thing we want to do with any of these kind of problems is say, all right, what are we given? And then where do we want to get? All right, so this one's pretty straightforward. Um, we're given milligrams and we want to get to pounds. All right, sometimes, uh, a lot of times actually, this will be given as a, a word problem and you kind of just boil it down to what I have uh, written here, just the, the basics that you need. All right, so now the question is, how do we get there? We need to uh, come up with kind of like a road map to get from milligrams to pounds because it's really not a direct shot. We don't have a conversion factor um, that will go from milligrams directly to pounds. I don't know how many milligrams are in a pound. All right, but um, I do know how many grams are in a pound. Okay, so what I can do is say I'm going to take this for milligrams. I'm going to go to grams. I know that conversion. Um, and then I'm going to go from grams to pounds. All right, so this would just be a two step process, really not too um, involved at all. But for each conversion, I need a conversion factor. So what is the conversion factor going from milligrams to grams? All right. We need to know the metric system, uh, which just uses the prefixes. And the milli prefix indicates uh, one thousandth. That means a milligram is one thousandth of a gram. Um, another way of saying that, well, let me write that out. Um, one milligram equals a thousandth or 0 0.001 grams. Now, another way to, ex to say the same thing is just in the opposite direction. I could also say, uh, let me put it over, I'll put it here. One gram equals how many milligrams, all right? If a milligram is a thousandth of a gram, then there must be a thousand milligrams in a gram. Okay, so uh, it doesn't matter which way um, which which way I write it, whether I say there's a thousand milligrams in a gram or 0 0.001 grams in a milligram. It'll give us the same result, and uh, we'll see that in just a second. Okay, so the other um, the other conversion factor is grams to pounds. Now this isn't one that you would need to have uh, memorized, but you can look that up in a reference table and you'll find that uh, there are 454 grams to one pound. Okay, so those are the two conversion factors. We'll pick one of those because uh, they're equivalent, and use that one, and that will let us do this conversion. All right, so let's go ahead and work out this problem. Uh, we have 25.18 milligrams. Now I'm going to put in my first conversion factor. Okay, so let's, uh, let's just use the uh, 100 milligrams is one gram. I mean, uh, 1,000 milligrams, there's three zeros there. Okay, 1,000 milligrams to one gram. Now you'll notice I put that on the bottom. I put that on the bottom because I need milligrams on the bottom to cancel. Okay, so it's just kind of, it's kind of like um, linking, uh, linking train cars in a train. Okay, um, you know, here's the engine. I'm starting with milligrams. My first train car, I'm, uh, I'm latching those together. Let's see if I can do it in the kind of, you know, kind of a, a latching 
um, of the units. I've got one on the on the top, okay, like that. I can put it over one if you want to, and then I have to match that on the bottom. And then if I do the next one, I also have to match that uh, unit, okay. My milligrams have canceled. Now I'm matching grams. So guess where I'm going to put the grams? It's got to go on the bottom. Okay, that's the uh, the linking part of it. Okay, so there you go. Once you get your roadmap, then you pull out your conversion factors, and it's just a matter. You know how the units need to go, so it's just a matter of putting in the numbers where they should be. Okay, so y you know that uh, I, you remember I said it didn't matter which one we used. Okay, the reason is, let's uh, we use this one. So let's look at this one. What if we put this one in there? How would how would that go? All right, the units are going to stay in the same place because we have to have milligrams on the bottom. But now I have one milligram on the bottom and 0 0.001 grams on the top. Okay, so you see my number um, is inverted. It's, it's, it's now on the top instead of on the bottom, but it's also uh, the, the opposite uh, number. It's 1 over 1,000, and so it, it cancels itself. Uh, that effect cancels out, um, having it on the top and then having it inverted like that. Um, it'll give us the same mathematical result whether we divide by a thousand or multiply by a thousandth. Okay, so that's just the mathematical um, aspect of it. We can go ahead and calculate this out and uh, we'll have, um, let's see, 25.18 divided by one thousand and then divide it again by 454. Four. Okay, so here we have um, 0. 0.00005. Okay, so if we put this in scientific notation so we don't have to write all that out, we'll have five point, and let's see how many significant figures? Three. Okay, this is. Uh, I, I could write this more precisely and it would have some decimal places there. In general, English to metric conversions are not exact. They're measurements, okay? So I'm going to carry this out to 5.55, okay, times 10 to the negative because I'm going left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay? So this is how that goes. Hey, I didn't plan that. All fives. <laughs> okay. So um, one thing when when you're entering this into your calculator, um, you'll notice that uh, when I did this, I did 25.18 divided by a thousand, and then divided again by 454. Okay. So the reason you divide twice, it, every time it's a separate thing, okay? Because you might, um, if you had parentheses in there, then you would say, okay, that's uh, divided by a thousand times 454, okay? Um, sometimes that's more obvious than other times. Uh, so I just wanted to point that out.